Okay, so got the uh, 0.7 gauge strings here, uh, and I'm going to put them on my Paul Reed Smith Custom 24, and uh, we'll see how it goes. This guitar has nines on it, so actually this has nine hybrids, this is nine to 46, so this is going to be interesting to see how this uh, 7 to 38 goes. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes. So oh, halfway through, I got uh, three of the strings on, and uh, man, this is, woo! <laughs> I mean, this, whoa! <laughs> I mean, you could feel just like th this one, you could feel how this moves, and then this one's like, I mean, look at that. I can pull it almost from end to end with no effort. This will be interesting. At least it'll be nice and stretched. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so <laughs> here's the point seven. It, it's like... I don't know if you see that. It's like, like nothing. It's like, like it doesn't feel like metal. I feel like I can actually bend it, like bend it, like see. I mean, bend it without kinking it. This is gonna be interesting. I got Matt and Joe with me and we did the Billy Gibbons challenge and what that was was the three of us decided for one week to play the Billy Gibbons seven gauge string sets so we each put them on a guitar and just to make it a little bit more exciting I took this guitar this uh, strap and I put sevens on it and I left it in the shop so about a dozen two dozen players got to play this guitar as well and I think we learned a lot I think uh, to get a ball rolling I think what I learned the most right off the bat was they don't break, don't right? No. no. None of us were. None of us broke a string, and no one who abused the strat broke a string. No. Um, that was cool. Uh, the other thing I learned right away is, um, I, for me, I don't feel like a, sh a shredder when I play them. Like I don't feel like when I mean, you had to get a thin neck and you play really fast. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like every time I touched them, I just wanted to lightening up. Right. Yeah. Right. I kind of wanted to play vibrato. Like to me, it was yeah, bends and vibrato. Definitely. Okay, so what did you like or hate the most? Effortless. That's good. So right. On your right hand, it's very um, effortless. Um, super light. So if you're having any kind of hand issues, you know, it'd be good to play them for a while just to relieve some of the tension on your on your left hand. Keeps your wrist straight, and uh, you can bend like crazy. You can make cat meows too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See. No, that, that is the one thing I must say is that uh, it definitely is effortless. Yeah. Effortless uh, playing. Zero. Uh, bending effort. is, is unreal. Yeah. And the strings don't break. And you play eights, right? I have. So, and the one thing I noticed was nines to eights, it's, it's like tens to nines, less tension. Nines to eights, less tension. Sevens, no tension. No tension. Like nothing. Like I just, I just. It's crazy. I, yeah, it's crazy. It's like, uh. Number one, number one comment from the guys uh, that came in and played the strat was they couldn't feel the strings underneath their fingers. Mm -hmm. That was the number one complaint. Mm -hmm. They instantly went to that. I, I didn't think anything of it until they realized they were all basically saying it different ways, but that's what they were saying. It feels like there was nothing underneath there. Yes. Um, so maybe, I, I don't know, it's weird that I don't care that. <laughs> my only, con you know, what's funny is I like them. Um, the tone, I didn't change my, I didn't have to change tone. Um, the only concern I had was I played them for two days straight and then I went and played my nines. Yeah, it, it's an adjustment yeah, going it, back to nines or tens. So it's definitely, if you go with them, you kind of stick with it because otherwise you're, it's kind of hard to go back and forth between the, the two gauges for me anyway. So who do you think these are horrible for? Like if you're that dude, don't ever play these. Besides the heavy-handed guy that's Maybe, smacking yeah. him with a mallet. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, that might be a little thin for, for jazz. Obviously, it's just you lose a little bit of the, the thickness of the tone. With well, there's these, not a like lot of vibrato in jazz, right? No, there's no... Oh, well, yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, some... Yeah. some you know, so, I think so. it's power chords. Power chords? Yeah. No good. You know what's funny? <laughs> what's funny is... Uh, Unless so, you want to bend them. 
Well, but here's what's it, here's what happened to me. So for a control experiment, what mm -hmm. I did was uh, I did a video uh, last week. I did that overrated special video, mm -hmm. and in the video I used the the guitar with the sevens, right? So that way I wanted to see if anyone commented like, "What is with your tone? Why is it so thin?" No one noticed. But if you watch that video, when I did the power chord section, mm -hmm. I kept knocking the power chords right. out of tune. I was gonna say yeah, right. easy to bend that too. And it what and it was just because it was. Yep. Only negative I noticed was, even though I stretched them really good and they stayed in tune for a little while, then I stretched them again, and then I stretched them again. It's like I always yeah, found yeah, this, right. a way to knock them out of tune a little bit, not to, mm -hmm. not compulsively, but a little bit at a time. They're cool. They're fun. I would say they're worth trying. Yeah, they're you know, cool. five yeah. bucks a set. It's worth it. You know, what's funny is only the only ones I could find are the the actual Billy Gibbons strings, the sevens. Do they make others? I tried. I tried those string manufacturers. Dia Dario and GHS said they would make me a set, mm -hmm. but <laughs> when I called Dunlop, they're like, "Oh yeah, we make them for Billy Gibbons." Uh -huh. The Reverend Reverend Willie's Mexican Lottery, mm -hmm. which is the weirdest name ever. <laughs> you know who likes seven gate strings? People who like the Mexican Lottery. Apparently, <laughs> that's what you win. You know, that's probably what we need to figure out. If you win the Mexican Lottery, you mm -hmm. get a pack of seven gate strings. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you don't have to work to play anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what you win in the next one. <laughs> See ya. All right, so um, you had notes too, or no? Are you done? Yeah, you I answered the questions. I think I'm done. I'm cheating with my notes over here. No. Okay, okay, but you didn't like them. So no, I'm, you uh, keep them, them on a guitar. No. So tonight, whatever tonight, tomorrow, no. whatever, they're gone. No more sevens out of your life. Put nines back on them. You? Uh, I keep one of my guitars with them on just for kind of a fun. Which guitar? Uh, probably this one. Because they're already. Yeah, 25 and a half. Well, yeah, it's already on 25 and a half inch scale, I think feels. Yeah. Really good. Well, I think with this, the PRS was 25 inch scale and it was fine. The 24 and 3 quarters, I thought your guitar this was is just, nuts. It was just too slinky. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to keep them on one guitar as well. I'm thinking yeah. of actually making it in my telly. Because I like to do, yeah. like. Uh, like a pedal steel. Yeah, those pedal steel bins yeah, you were yeah, doing yeah, yeah. on the telly. Mm -hmm. I was just like. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right? That that has to be. Yeah. Can you do that normally on your tens? It's difficult. It's difficult. Not mm -hmm. as easy as this. Yeah, because it looks like you're not mm -hmm. trying. You're just doing it. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. See, think of this. I'm so sad. It's oh, Even on these are a little hard. <laughs> I'll need a... So, so yeah, that's the end of this basic video. We just wanted to give it a try. So instead of you know hearing what people had to say and just taking that for granted, we tried it. Um, obviously, we liked it. The things, like I said, recap that we learned, they didn't break. They we didn't don't break. break. They don't. They just keep bending forever and ever. They just don't break. Um, they don't really change the tone. I, I can't say mm -hmm. the tone is amazing. I didn't like get a tone bump, but there was no takeaway that I felt like I lost. Um, and uh, what was the other myth? There was the two bit. Oh, they, they, they break. Um, and action, was... action readjustment. Oh, yeah. No, and none yeah, of the guitars yeah, needed no, setups, no. Yeah. which is mind boggling to me. Um, that you know, right? And especially since mine went from nine to 46, which is almost tens, to sevens on the PRS. This went from nines. Yours had nines on it, yes. right? Nines, and you had nines. So none of us took it from tens to sevens. Well, yeah, tens. Oh, tens. you had tens. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, good to know. Yeah, so yeah. you had tens, and you went to tens, and no adjustment, right? Nope, nothing. Yeah, yeah no buzzing, no nothing. It was just strange. The only exception, so you know, that you may want to be aware of, if you have a floating tremolo, I would imagine it's going to be a disaster. Because oh, you're decreasing. Do yeah, you're decreasing so much tension, it just won't work. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the Billy Gibbons strings. I suggest my recommendation is to to buy a set of those strings and give it a try if you think it's something you're interested in. Um, the other last thing I noticed, and I don't know if you guys agree, uh, Joe's probably gonna disagree, but me and Matt probably agree. I've tried eights and I didn't like them and I like these. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I think I if you think you hated eights, this still might be triable. The, but you like the eights over these, right? I do. Yeah, so, so, mm -hmm. so that's kind of cool to know that stuff. All right, guys. Um, as always, uh, if you like the, uh, uh, if you look it down below, you can see the Facebook thing. Make sure you hit the Know Your Gear page and check that out. Um, subscribe if you like the video, so we make more. Hit like if you like the videos. Hit dislike if you dislike the videos. And as always, thank you for your time and know your gear.